I'm Michelle, the Children's Librarian at the Sheridan County Public Library System, and welcome to another Bookmarks. Today I'm going to share a book called A Dog Like Daisy by Christian O'Donnell Tubb. Now this book is rather special because a lot of times we read books about dogs and this and everything, but this is the book by a dog, and it goes like this. Chapter 1, Hope Feels Like Fireflies. The cage I'm in squeaks when I move, and the sound makes me picture tiny scratches of the color yellow like toy lightning. Plus, when I ship, I lose the warm spot I made on the metal, so I stay still. You can smell and hear things best when still. The colors tell you more. Quit moving, the Doberman in the cage next to me snaps. I didn't. Well, then quit thinking about moving. I snub. The cages are no way to build a pack. Humans know nothing about the importance of building strong pack dynamics. The bell over the good side door chimes green. Good morning, howdy ho, hi, hi, hi. The dogs and pups greet the incoming human. Morning, Daisy, Janie says when she gets to me. She stops to my cage and reaches in. My tail thumps because Penny is joy like sunshine. Janie's voice is creamier than thin milk. Janie, that's the tag of the woman in charge around here. She scratches me behind my good ear. She's a good girl. I am. I am a good girl with one good ear. Useful and good despite what my old pack said. The other worker comes in next. His tag is Philip. He squats on his hindquarters in my bottom row cage, refreshes my water, and then leaves. Philip doesn't look me in the eye or speak. Ever, even, oh, that even, ever. I only know that Pan Culliver is voiced by his clipped answers to Janie, but I don't get the feeling he's evil. Janie and Charge and the other Philip are nice enough. The shapes that color their speech and shine on their faces are usually pale, like cold weather sunrise. Certainly not bold, so probably not useful. The bell over the good side door rings again and three humans enter. Two full grown people and a pup, a boy. The cage above me wiggles with glee. People, people, looky here, looky here, the puppies yell. People make things interesting because they can take us out. A soft little yellow hope inside me like a firefly. Yellow but not too yellowy. Hope but not too hopey. The bell quiets. There are two doors in this room. One has the bell above it. The bell shows that it's the good sign from my cage. I can see through the clear good sign door. The good sign has sunshine behind it. It smells like grass and earth and rain and garbage and running and freedom. The other door is thick and metal. It slams when it closes, echoing slams like trucks with jaws. Dogs who walk through that door smell like fear. Those dogs never return. It's the bad sign. Rumi hears that every dog gets 14 sunrises before they go through the door to the bad sign. I have two more sunrises before I have to walk through the bad sign. I know that means I should muster my cuteness for the humans, but I just can't do it. False enthusiasm tastes like salt water. The three humans who enter pause at each stage, two of them, the full grown ones, don't reach through the pet the doors of dogs inside. Unusual. Most humans say chewy pink bubblegum words like ooh and looky when they peer at us. Most of them want to touch each one of us, which mixes our sense and makes us smell like dog poo stew. Most of the humans' voices change to the color of sunny sky when they visit us. Their words rays of sunshine, but these humans are different. Even the boy, he doesn't reach inside the cages. He doesn't coo, but his eyes smile. He has a soft glow of hope inside him. He has fireflies in his heart like me. So what are we looking for exactly, he says. The biggest adults turn. He's standing apart from the other two. He walks with a limp and a stick. A dog, you know, four legs, fuzzy, perfectly no fleas. He smiles and says and tries to laugh. No one laughs with him. The statement falls short like an underthrown tennis ball. The biggest adult says, they tell me it will help knit Micah. He turns with the snappy twigs. The third person is awkward. The awkward one is not part of their pack. I can tell by his smell. He smells like well onions, like the ones to smell of the same soap. The awkward one clears the voice. It still will, Victor. Ugh. His voice is a pinched paw. And I think this dog looks like a good possibility. The awkward one reaches into Snuffle's cage. Snuffles is a bulldog mix. He grunts a loud ho de doo This big as a duck shrugs. Snuffle turns and farts. So much for you too, fella. The humans pass several more cages. They don't reach in. The colors that swirl over their voices remind me of a storm cloud. It's all very confusing. One of the puppies above me will be chosen. Last sunrise, there were nine puppies. This sunrise, there are five. The puppies go through the good side door quickly. I think it's become humans like to watch them grow. Humans place a lot of importance on growth, even when they don't have to do that. The biggest adult in this tag is Victor. I now know stops and looks at them. Hi, 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 the puppies yip. 
The biggest adult now ticks up a tad, but the shadow on his face doesn't change. Interesting. This fellow doesn't like the taste of false enthusiasm either. I'm looking at his boots. Victor's boots. They're muddy and sturdy. I like hard work. Hard work is useful. Hard work is full and round belly. Victor squats. He groans as he does. A creaky old door, but he's not old in his skin. His eyes narrow. He sees my torn left ear. No one wants me after they see my torn left ear. I tuck my head sideways so he doesn't have to look at it. That's Daisy, Janie says from behind her desk. Janie sits a lot. She's a sweet thing, isn't she? About two years old, we think. The boy, the one they labeled with the tag, Micah, tilts his head at me. I know head tilts. Head tilt means difficulties. Her dad, I thought we're looking for a puppy. Victor's eyes are deep like puddles, puddles of sadness, not playful putties, tricky puddles, deep enough to drown in. That white spot around her eye looks like a daisy, see, Janie said. That's why we call her that. She's not the prettiest dog or the smartest dog, but she seems sweet. Goodness, Janie, manners, I'm right here. Victor slowly reaches in and scratches my jaw. Hello, Miss Daisy. Miss Daisy? Miss? I sit up. At last, a human who understands the need for respect. Can I see her? Mr. Victor asks. I decide to call him Mr. Victor since he affords me the same respect. The honored one sets for him. I don't know, Victor, he says, let in sour words. She's injured and looks like she recently had pups. And don't forget, we only have 10 weeks of training under the VA funding. If she can't be trained in two and a half months, well, she might not be a best choice. Dad, did you see the puppies, Micah asks. Victor stands abruptly. Her, please. His voice has snapped, a flapping flight. Can I see her? Jamie unlocks my cage, swings the door open. I don't exit. See, Victor, the awkward one says, I don't think she's right for you. Come, Miss Daisy, Mr. Victor says sternly. He pats his leg. His voice is filled bright, like a raw T-bone steak. I walk out of the cage, sit next to his sturdy, muddy boots, watch to see what he wants to do to me next. Mr. Victor scratches me under the chin. I look up at him. His smell is clean but bold, like fear and sweat. His voice is difficult to read. It's a mixture of sunset and ghosts and blood. Something is missing from it too, something important. I understand then. This human doesn't want me. This human needs me. And this is where I can prove how useful I am. We'll take her, Mr. Victor says. Micah crams his hands in the pocket, kicks the metal door on my cage, and swings shut with a purple bruising clang. You said I could pick. You never listen to what I want. Micah storms out the good side door. This time, the bell above it sounds red like a warning. So read about what happens to Daisy, Mr. Victor, and Micah. And the book, oops, A Dog Like Daisy. Now I put my bookmark here because I know I want to come back and finish reading. But it also tells Daisy I'm going to be back very soon. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have a good day. Come in the library and check out a book, A Dog Like Daisy. And you brighten my day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.